Now, the majority of the Muslim women, they don't wear the niqab. The niqab is that, you know, the, the small one, you, you can just see the eyes. But there's been such, you know, a moral panic about it. They're, you know, the, the, you know they're saying, you know, why are they wearing it? They shouldn't wear it at all in this country. And really, they're just going over the top. The link of Islam with terrorism, the link of Islam with regards to oppressing women, oppressing non-Muslims, um, the fact that Islam is backward, all of these kind of views that have been created by the propaganda machine of, of particular Western governments and their, and their media. Governments um, use the opportunity to, to, to jump upon a particular issue in order to import you know, new legislation, um, or new, uh, you know, or, or introduce a new, new uh, conversational piece into the national dialogue. So it's for me, it's ironic that we would focus on a woman's facial mask um, as a national topic that it would be on the cover of, you know, the most read paper. And no one questions the nun. No one questions the Hindu who wears the sari. Um, so it's clearly about Islam. I think there's something worrying in that when you start when when you have Western society beginning to influence or wanting to influence the cultural dress codes of various societies and cultures. It just shows the level of totalitarianism and dominance that the West wishes to impose upon other nations. Talk about the hijab, 